he is pastor of me. This is how he explained the gospel. Hope you watched the whole video. Um, we have um, questions for you. We want to know um, how you define gospel. What is gospel? The gospel. Yeah. Okay, that's a great question because there are many gospels out there. And Paul said there's only one gospel that saves. There's no other gospel. So if we get the gospel wrong, we are eternally wrong. We're wrong for all of eternity, and that's a long time to be wrong. So the gospel, according to scripture, is Jesus Christ, his person and his work. Who he is, what he has done, and what he is doing. His life, his death, his resurrection. It's Christ alone and only Christ alone. And I want to clarify, when I say Jesus, when I say Christ, I mean the biblical Jesus, the biblical Christ. Not the Jesus the world portrays, not the Jesus that is presented in many of our churches, but the Jesus of Scripture, right? So, the good news, the gospel for us, is that Jesus loves sinners, that Jesus died for sinners, that Jesus is the friend of sinners, that Jesus loves to save sinners of whom I am foremost. Jesus said, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. That'd be people like you and people like me. And if the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. For if you have a perfect savior, you are perfectly saved. So this is the point. God saves sinners. Sinners cannot save themselves. Salvation is of the Lord. The gospel, the good news is the great exchange. The worst about me laid upon Jesus. The best about Jesus laid upon me as he bled on the cross. 2 Corinthians 5.21 That God made Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Incredible. Amazing grace. When I, when I was in Canada, I was a volleyball coach, a basketball coach for many years. And there was times I made a substitution. I would substitute a player who wasn't playing well, wasn't doing well. Well, 10 years ago, God made a substitution. He called a substitution. He provided a substitution for me, a perfect substitution, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I love how Paul puts it. He said, I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who, sit, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. I do not set aside the grace of God. For if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. If righteousness could come through the law, then Christ died for nothing. So here's the problem. It's not enough to know the gospel. It's not enough to know about the gospel. Many know the gospel but have not received the gospel. We must receive the gospel. So the second question is just as important as the first. How do we receive the gospel? What is the gospel call? Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 and from that time Jesus began to preach and say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand mark 1 15 for the time jesus said for the time is fulfilled the kingdom of god is at hand repent and believe the gospel what does repentance look like well repentance is a turning a change of mind turning from the love of sin love of self love of the world and going a different way the way jesus said i'm the way the truth the life no one comes to the father except through me so that brings us to our third question. What does that look like to come to Christ? What does that look like to come to the biblical Christ? So first we know we must know the gospel. Second, God must grant a repentance, a turning, turning from sin, turning from self, turning from the world, turning from religion, turning from your good works. Paul said that's all done. In coming to Christ, what does it mean to come to Christ, this Christ of scripture? Uh, in a nutshell, in a sentence, Jesus said, Come to me, 
to die or don't come. Come to me to die or don't come. Uh, Mark chapter 8 verse 34, 35, Jesus says, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take his cross, and follow me. He who wishes to save his life will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel's sake will save it. Coming to Jesus, you come by way of the cross or you don't come. You come by way of the cross or you don't get to come. Jesus, there's only one way. Now you might not like that. You might walk away from that, but that's a gospel truth. That's, there's only one way. Jesus said, enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many enter through it but small is the way and narrows the small is the gate narrows the way that leads to life and few find it come to him come to him to die and be made alive in christ turn to christ and live uh, john 6 37 jesus guarantees the success of his gospel. That's the first thing. He guarantees its success. He says, all the Father gives to me will come to me. And he who comes to me, I will no wise cast out. Everyone the Father gives to Jesus will come to him. And there's no one Jesus is going to cast out. Come to him. My friends, if you call upon the name of the Lord, I can promise you by authority of the word of God that he will save you, that he will save you now. He'll cleanse you, he'll change you, he will <laughs> do it all. And one day when you die, he'll take you in the very presence of the Father and present you faultless before the throne of God. Whoever calls upon on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who calls upon the Lord will be saved. It's a free gift. It's a free gift. You cannot buy it. You cannot merit it. There's nothing you can do to earn it. It's free. Ephesians 2.8, for by grace are you saved through faith, and it's not of your own doing, it's a gift of God. I cannot think of a better gift. I cannot think of better news than the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you? The Apostle Peter said that there's salvation and no one else. There's no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The Apostle Paul said there's one God and one mediator between God and man, man Christ Jesus. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. If you come to Christ, you will find him to be a perfect savior. A perfect Savior. How can you say no? That's the gospel. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you understand what Pastor Lynn explained to us. God bless you for watching this. I once was lost in darkest night. Yet thought I knew the way The sin that promised joy in life Had led me to the grave I had no hope that you would own A rebel to your will And if you had not loved me first I would refuse But as I ran, my hell found grace, indifferent to the cost. You looked upon my helpless state and led me to the cross. Where I beheld your eyes.
The strength to follow your commands could never come from me. Oh, Father, use my ransom life in any way. And let my song, let my song. Jesus is